it's recording. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Welcome back to another Virtual Voices. Uh, this is <laughs> produced by um, the Well Rose in Rosemount, Minnesota. And uh, my name is Tammy, and I'm the communications director for The Well. And this is my other half here, Mr. Oh, Logan. <laughs> and uh, he, he joins me today for this um, episode of Virtual Voices. As Jason and I had said last week, we are going to be following up with a lot of The Well members and asking about their faith journeys, kind of how they made it through the pandemic. And we are going to spotlight some of The Well staff. And it's my turn. So first off, Thanks for listening. Please hit subscribe so that you can hear us every single week on your favorite podcast app, or you can watch us also on YouTube. Um, so as I said, I'm Tammy, the communications director at The Well. I help communicate everybody, um, communicate from The Well to everybody on social media, etc. And this is Logan. So Logan and I have been part of The Well for about nine years now, I think. And we've kind of worked in the background on a lot of different things. Um, I've worked there for about uh, six years now doing the newsletter. And also we have done, oh, you've done pancake breakfast. Pancake feeds. Uh, what were those all about? Uh, raising money for the youth. Uh, we've done that. We've done raising money for the shelter, the local food shelf, and... Oh, yeah, the Rosemont Family Resource yep. Center. Yep, Resource Center. Mm -hmm. And then there was, I think we did two for the youth, actually. We did that. It kind of evolved into being a fundraiser for the youth. So it's a, yeah. it's a good fundraiser. Definitely enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the kids do enjoy being part of that. So Yeah, that is a lot of fun. Um, also, you've had a few other things that you've done with the well. Can you explain some of them? Um, so I was, I've sat on the, I sat on the governor's team when that was formed and basically when it ended and evolved into... Uh, the two teams that it is now. Uh, I've supported the church through when we had the Apple Valley site. I was helping uh, move the trailer back and forth, um, and ver and pretty much kind of utility anything that's needed when it's needed. I'll, I'll step in and help. So, yeah, you'll hear Pastor Sherry say um, something about Tammy or Logan's Valana. We uh, kind of work in the background a lot of times. We don't necessarily get in front of the cameras or get in front of the congregation all the time. We like to work in the background, just helping the church along and helping. Um, facilitate a lot of things that help the, our community too. So um, if you hear our names, now you get to see our faces and you can hear us on the Virtual Voices app as well, or the, the podcast apps as well. Um, our relation to church, um, we just kind of went over that. And now, you know, like we're coming out of a pandemic right now. We're still in it, but I think we can finally see the light um, at the yeah. end of the tunnel, you know, with the new vaccines coming out and everybody, um, being able to get those or have access to those if you want them. And uh, this past year has been quite uh, interesting for us being parents of three children who are in school. Uh, last March, you know, we all went through quite a shock. For one, Logan travels a lot for his work and he was home full time. And so that kind of um, upended a, a schedule and routine that I had with the three kids, you know, getting them off to school and everything. So he was home. And then all of a sudden, all three kids were home. We have a seventh grader, um, a fourth grader and a first grader now. So they were just one year less last year. And it was, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. To, to say in the least. <laughs> yeah. Working full time, mm -hmm. uh, trying to be a good husband and a good father and a good teacher and, you know, trying to keep myself together along with part of the family. You know, that that's a lot to balance. And I'm sure everybody here that that has kids or even just anybody trying to deal with this can relate on some level to that. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, once we got past the, you know, everybody was kind of in the same, what are we doing with school at the end of last year? And then they had a little bit more together with the beginning of this school year, even though it was hybrid for a little while. And we still had a hybrid child. Um, well, coming into the spring semester, we had a hybrid uh, seventh grader, and then the other two started going back full time. Well, then we're dealing with quarantines between the young one and then the old one. And it was just like, oh. It was a lot. And yeah. I would have to say that we were absolutely tested in this time. Um, yes. You know, <laughs> many times. Many times. <laughs> our relationship, um, our relationship yes. with our children. I'm very forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. 
don't let him tell you that. Gosh, I'm the patient one here. But <laughs> I love you, honey. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think a lot, you know, we, we definitely had a lot of, you know, like deeper conversations, especially about like faith and where we found God and, you know, um, with our children. Yeah. I mean, our children were isolated quite a bit, but we knew that this was um, kind of for a greater good. And so we had to uh, really help our children understand that and um, dig deeper ourselves to find um, our own faith that we can make it through this. There were absolutely really hard days that it was yes. hard to, um, to to get through and, and hard days with our kids. And we were having hard days, but we have figured out how to kind of maneuver that for our family to get through it. So it was, it was a big, huge learning experience. I don't know if you have anything on this to, you know, it's, it was a day by day thing and uh, trying to keep everybody happy. Uh, It was one of the most difficult things out there and just honestly, happy, happy was great. Trying to keep them from not wanting to, you know, physically harm each other for a while was a challenge. Uh, And then, you know, not being able to go anywhere, do anything, ourselves uh, just to get that release of not being at home it, it was it's been such a challenging time and finally summer is you know spring is starting to roll around and it's you know we just were pushing the kids outside uh, that's mm-hmm. for our mental health and theirs and so it's it's been a definite big change um, you know I'm vaccinated Tammy's vaccinated having that now is kind of a relief um, yeah, kind of lessens the anxiety yeah. um, a little bit about actually going places and being with people and yes. being able to hug our vaccinated families. Uh, that has been such an amazing thing to be able not to have to worry about it. Our children, you know, hugging their grandparents and aunts and uncles and stuff and how how much we've realized that we've missed that. Yes. Um, and that's such a key thing in um, our lives. Um Definitely. And yeah, speaking of, you know, opening back up, the well church is open back up. And I went to church on Sunday for the first time in over a year. And I didn't realize how much I actually missed it. I mean, I see it every Sunday. I help coordinate the virtual live. So I see the virtual live every Sunday, but there was absolutely something different about being on site during service and seeing everybody there. We are open to about 90 people that can register and we have a second service now. So this is just it was amazing. I brought two of my children and they were very excited to see people and to say hello. And I could just see it in their demeanor that they were, you know, excited, happy, and it changed when they got there. They they realized what they've been missing all along. So that's really awesome. Yes. So I'm glad that we're all, you know, opening back up. So that's, you know, you'll hear a little bit more probably about Tammy and Logan um, from Pastor Sherry. She's pretty awesome about uh, lifting all of us up and lifting up staff and um, well members and such. So thank you very much for joining us for this Virtual Voices. We will have another one in a week, debut back on Friday. And I appreciate that you're here. And I hope you hit that subscribe button so you'll get alerted every time we upload a new Virtual Voices. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you next week.